Hey everyone, Natalie here from A Ray of Sunlight with another fun furniture flip. Okay, I actually had issues with it, but I love how it turned out in the end. So I removed the hardware and had a hard time getting off that fake keyhole cover, so I decided to just leave it even though I don't care for it. Then I cleaned the dresser to remove the gunk, dirt, and grime from the surface. I didn't want any of those things to interfere with the paint being able to stick to the dresser. Then I sanded everything with 220 grit sandpaper to scuff the original finish up. And I cleaned off all of the dust. Even though I was using chalk paint, I don't like taking a chance that the paint won't stick. So I sprayed two coats of clear shellac all over the dresser and made it all nice and shiny after I had just sanded everything to a dull finish. There is a method to my madness, I promise. The next day I brushed this deep moody green called Hollow Hill. I personally like to add some water to my chalk paint to thin it out just a little bit so I don't get so many brush marks in the paint job. After a couple of coats of paint, I tried spraying Varathane's polyurethane in the spray can on it, and it just did not work. That stuff is usually my favorite stuff in the regular container, but this stuff was just really matte and the finish wasn't even at all. And there were brush marks in the paint still, and I was just so done with it. So I put it in timeout for a couple of weeks, and when I came back, I did what I should have done in the first place. I removed the keyhole, sanded all of the brush marks out of all of the paint, and then lightly brushed on more paint. Then I sprayed three coats of my favorite top coat on it, which was still Varathane, but with my paint sprayer. And I didn't love the old hardware anymore, so I made new leather poles for the drawers. And here is what it looks like now. I absolutely love it. What do you think? I will be back next week with another three minute makeover.